how you doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. I'm here with a very special guest, the CEO of KBEV, Chris Miller. How are you doing today, Chris? I'm living the dream, buddy. How are you? I'm doing very good. Thank you for joining us today. Now, Chris, there's huge trends that are forming in consumer beverages and wellness. We've seen major changes in awareness to health, mm. especially with 80 million baby boomers spending whatever it takes to remain vibrant and full of vitality. How has the economics of the nutrition industry improved? And what are some of the knowledge about proper living that's driving consumer demand? Yeah, I mean, uh, the industry we're in, food and beverage, uh, and especially functional beverage is exploding. Uh, you know, the year over growth is, has been double digits for the last five years and will continue to go up. Uh, and the reason being, people want to live faster, better, stronger, better, more beautiful. Um, you know, if you track any of those trends from cosmetic surgery to cosmetic dentistry to health, um, they're all going up and they're not going away, right? Um, we like to think, you know, we always tell people, if, if you could have invested in kombucha 10 years ago, uh, would you have done it? And I think the answer is yes. And we're sort of at that precipice with Coeos. Uh, you know, being a mental health beverage, uh, we now have a, a pretty diverse product line, but um, our, co our core focus is mental health. And I think, um, you know, people investing in it now, it's similar to investing in kombucha 10 years ago, which has seen a massive rise. I mean, even, even companies like Monster, I don't know if your listeners or viewers know this, but they have the hottest stock in the last decade period. Um, and their stock grew even during times of recession. So um, people will always reach for health products, things that make them feel better, uh, things that are better for you. And I think, yeah, we live in an information age where people understand that uh, we want better, better for you products. Um, and I think that that's, that's not even a question anymore, right? Um, yeah, and we're one of those food and beverage companies that's, that's on um, an incredible wave and, and taking advantage of incredible trends. Fantastic. Now, your own personal story is also very interesting. <coughs> Can you talk about your own struggles with health, especially mental health in your life, which sparked your career? Yeah, so uh, I played football and rugby in college, and so I've always been into, um, you know, there's a hot term right now called biohacking. If you look at, like, Bulletproof on it, some of these guys that have really exploded in health and wellness, um, that's kind of the term they live on. <clears throat> you know, how, how do we supplement the body to get more out of it? As I got into the working world, I realized that my brawn had nothing to do with my mental output. Um, I said in an earlier conversation you and I were having that we don't live in an industrial age anymore. You know, the, the blue collar worker is sort of being pushed out, right? We live in a very analytical age. Um, my theory is that we haven't, we haven't evolved yet to keep up with it our brains just haven't caught up with technology, which is why a lot of us feel anxious and have insomnia and, and we just don't know how to deal with it. Right. Um, and so we self-medicate and by self-medicate, I mean that we, we drink too much caffeine. Uh, we take stimulants and it's my personal opinion. That's the stimulant. The stimulant issue will be as big as opioids. Wow. Uh, I think it's the next trend and people, you know, um, overdoing it. And so, my personal story is I was, I've struggled my whole life with mental disorders, uh, at least ones that I'm willing to admit, and, and you know, ADHD being one of them, uh, being on the spectrum of autism is another one. And um, finally, as an adult, I'd had so many issues sort of in the workforce that I got prescribed Adderall. Instead of a doctor, you know, saying, hey, you should probably change your diet and some other things, uh, like most people, I got a pill. And Adderall is a very dangerous drug. It's uh, one molecule away from being methamphetamine. Um, if you've ever had any experience with it, it can really affect your life. And so it was really starting to affect my health um, as I was taking it. And, and, you know, I think people who take those things like that, you think it, because it was given by a doctor, it's probably okay. And, um, yeah, like I said, it started to really affect my health, my sleep, my, my hormone levels. And I'd sort of hit rock bottom taking this prescription drug. And started looking for an alternative. Is there a way that I can mimic the results of Adderall? The focus, the attention, the drive, the, the mood enhancement without taking a pharmaceutical drug. And so I spent years with a team of people much smarter than myself uh, working on a formula that would mimic Adderall, but it was earth grown, all vegetarian, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the first product we ever put out was a supplement um, that we've now clinically shown to improve brain function. So... Wow. you know, focus, et cetera. Um, and it took off very quickly. And I think the reason it took off and the drink continues to take off is because um, 
you know, people are looking for an alternative. Uh, people are looking for ways to be faster, smarter, better, stronger, limitless, right? Uh, and they want to do it in ways that are sustainable. So what Coeos does in the short term is gives, gives you that boost of energy focus, but in the long term builds brain function too. So that's how we started. Um, 2017, we sort of revamped everything, rebranded, reformulated. Uh, very shortly after that, Walmart and GNC called us. Uh, we quickly got into 4,000 retail stores and we've continued to grow rapidly ever since. So, Yeah, that's actually leads me into my next question, actually. Uh, Walmart, the greatest retailer in the world with 5,500 stores in America alone and GNC stores with around 3,000 branches across 50 states, both hold your line of products and they actually called your headquarters and pursued your business. Congratulations on that. Can yeah, you, thank you. Can you explain what Coeos beverages are? from fit soda to the five functional flavors? Yeah, so touching on your first point, uh, for people thinking of investing in Coyos, you know, what we did in the first year of having our new beverage out is unprecedented. Uh, generally speaking, it takes food and beverage brands 10 years to get into a Walmart and GNC, right? Um, they called us. Wow. I think, I think it's indicative of, of our branding and where we're at position-wise in the market. Like I said, you know, an exploding category, we're a very hot white space. Uh, that we fill specifically. Um, and yeah, they called us. In fact, the funny story, I thought when the Walmart buyer reached out to us, it was a joke. I thought we were being, I thought someone was joking with us. And so it took us a few days to get back to this person. Um, uh, and yeah, we've had tremendous success in both retailers. Uh, we continue to grow there. But yeah, our, our, our Coeos, uh, you know, our core line is uh, like a kombucha for your brain. Um, it's the only beverage in the world with mushrooms in it, with, with uh, MCT oil in it. Um, very little caffeine. So it's, it's designed to be highly functional for brain function and body function. Uh, but we use very little stimulants, uh, almost less than a soda. Um, and yeah, it fills a very big white space in the marketplace. And, um, it took us five years and millions of dollars, you know, I think for investors thinking, well, why wouldn't someone just copy you? Well, it took us five years and a lot of money to get the formula where it needed to be and also the taste profile where it needed to be, right? I think a lot of people, I think one of the food trends you're seeing right now is people want healthy options, but they also want them to taste great. Absolutely. I, I think where we differ than, than a kombucha is kombucha doesn't taste good. It's kind of gross. Yeah, <laughs> um, I agree. A lot of health foods are pretty terrible. And I think if you look at what Beyond Burger's doing, um, um, Halo Top ice cream, uh, some of these guys who've made really healthy options, but they taste good, they're exploding. And I think, I think we've mimicked those companies and that, that model pretty well, and, and you're seeing the results. And so Coeos is our performance drink. It's designed for, you know, focus. And then our Fit Soda product was designed uh, sort of like what Halo Top did. We wanted to create a, a really healthy, good-for-you product that felt like you were cheating. Um, it lets you, gives you the idea that, yes, I can have a soda, right? Like Halo Top is going to do 400 million this year. And they came out with an ice cream that was 200 calories per pint. Wow. So you can eat the whole thing, right? Absolutely. And so fit soda is a very similar concept. How do I, how do I drink something that tastes so delicious, but has vitamins, BCAAs, electrolytes, uh, and is actually good for me. And so, um, our fit soda line is actually exploding right now. Wow. Um, Congratulations on your yeah. success. Thank you. Now as a investment, KBEV is a micro cap company with 10 million market cap and projected revenues of 4 million in 2020. You have nearly 2 million cash and no real debt. So you're in healthy shape and poised for growth. Yeah, no, we are. We really are in healthy shape. You know, we, we've, we've run the company like a startup since the beginning. Um, everybody who's here still views it that way, but yeah, we're, we're poised for some big jumps, not only this year, but um, into 2021 as well. So uh, great. T it's, you know, in my opinion, undervalued um, and a great time to be involved. Fantastic. Now, are you looking to get into franchises like Whole Foods, for example, or to launch new products now that you have more brand recognition? Yeah, I mean, uh, Whole Foods is a conversation we've been having for a year. Um, you know, we hope to execute on that in 2020. Uh, you know, in terms of right now, our retail footprint is 4,000. We're anticipating 10,000. Which would include a wide range of, of retailers. Um, you know, we've put out a press release recently that our new model is DSD. Every viewer can go back and look at that and, and how we're going to expand nationwide, um, including building out our own team. But um, 
uh, yeah, we, we hope to penetrate 10,000 uh, retail locations this year, or at least doors is what we would call them. Uh, and then, yeah, we, we have uh, new products on the horizon as well. Uh, and some of those new products will be retail friendly, but, um, you know, we've done so well direct to consumer as well uh, that we're developing next gen products direct to consumer as well. Um, so, yeah, we would anticipate online revenues going up, you know, a thousand percent. Wow. I shouldn't say that. We anticipate online revenues to go up dramatically over, over 2020. You know, we have 60,000 Instagram followers. We have 5,000 email subscribers um, wow. who, are, who are hungry for new products. So, um, yeah, we have new products coming down the pipeline as well. Very good. Now, how challenging is it to be a small business in such a competitive industry? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I, I think that that question's loaded because I think for everybody who's launching into the general public, it's always tough, right? Um, Absolutely. I think for us, what's different about us and what investors could hang their hat on is that we, we reverse engineered the retail process, uh, meaning we created white space products. We also built our digital audience first, which is continuing to grow. So instead of attacking retail the traditional way of just launching a product and then, you know, having to compete with on shelf space and, um, you know, we were able to build digital so fast that retailers call us, right? Which gives us a tremendous advantage over our competition. Um, and so, yeah, you know, we, we do all the things that you're supposed to do. We stay lean, we stay competitive. We, um, we continue to build our digital footprint, which I think is a secret sauce for us. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's always competitive and, and uh, we'll always pivot and innovate. And, um, again, and I think for us, you know, direct to consumer, as more and more people want to deal directly with brands, we're building out that model um, so that we can offset any risk in the retail space as well. Very good. Now, the stock is actually near all-time lows. So right now. So what are two major catalysts near term and how do you plan to become profitable eventually? Catalysts for what? For growth in the stock? Yeah. Um, near term catalysts are, you know, additional retailers, um, our increased revenues, you know, we, uh, our financials just came out. We grew revenues a thousand percent. Margins, margins went up by almost a hundred percent. Expenses came down. Um, so those will be catalysts. And then, you know, obviously future announcements with, with retailers as we expand. Um, and then what was the second part of the question? Um, how do you plan to become profitable eventually? Yeah. So uh, we get this question a lot. And uh, I think if you look at any of the big exits from buy to dollar shave club to, you know, those companies weren't profitable for five to 10 years. I think I think for us, our focus is top line revenue. You know, top line revenue is going to be what gets us bought out by an InBev, a, you know, Molson Coors, a Coca Cola. Uh, those guys aren't really concerned about your your EBITDA. Um, what they're concerned with is how many doors you've taken, the niche you've carved out. Uh, once those companies buy you out, it's it's you know they can scale you and make you profitable overnight, right? And so, um, our strategy is top line revenue, and I wouldn't I would anticipate you know, strong EBITDA for another five years. Okay, great. And where can investors check out the products for sale and the investors deck? Yeah. So you can, uh, we're online at Amazon. You can go to our website at coyosbeveragecorp.com. You can find us on gnc.com, walmart.com. Um, for information about investing, our investor tab at coyosbeveragecorp.com. We have an investor deck. Uh, we even have a team of folks that you can, that, that you can uh, chat with on the phone that'll walk you through everything. So the investor tab at CoriosBeveragecorp.com. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Chris Miller, the CEO of Coyos Beverages. Keep up the great work and we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thanks for having me on. Have a great day. You too. Bye.